Well, I always do that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Because it, it's a blast. Oh, red light. All right, we had a ride today. Very nice. Um, past couple of days. I mean, there's been a few days this week that have been nice enough to ride. So that's good. This past week, a few days ago, the um, Harley Davidson had their announcement for the 2021 models of the bikes, and uh, man, pretty cool stuff. I like the announcements like that. Um, the the ones that Apple used to have are pretty good. Now it's just a another version of the iPhone, but uh, I like events like that. It's kind of fun. Let's go over to Intermountain Harley and see what they have to offer. See what models they've got here. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> you gotta love it, man, when you can get out and ride. All right, so what we're doing is we're heading over to Intermountain Harley Davidson. It's only like 1.6 miles from my house, but uh, they had an Instagram post and showing the 2021s. I want to know what they actually got because I want to see the. CVO Road Glide in person. And that Street Glide, that 114, oh my gosh. That'd be a fun bike to take around, wouldn't it? Oh, didn't I go far enough? No, it's right here. <laughs> I should know this place. We'll come in from the north here park it on the street so it's easy to get out. Does it look like it? Okay, so this is the Billiard Red Road Glide. Man. Just love the look of this one. Um, really, I mean, this is the one with the fixed fairing, so the steering, the, the fairing doesn't move with the steering. Um, just a really good color, and it's the 114. I like that orange one too. This is the Street Glide, it's the 107. Um, the Street Glide has the fairing, it's fit, or I don't know, how, how do you, what do you call that? It moves with the steering, and I like the white dials. Here's the Road King. It's a 107 also. Um, boy, it's a beautiful bike. And then, the, oh, wait a minute. How'd this get in there? <laughs> the grungy old V Rod. No, that wasn't on the show on the floor. Never mind. And you can't overlook this Sportster. This is a 1200 new one with the bikini fairing. Um, the 1200 is a cool bike. You gotta admit like that. I tell you what, though, out of the two 2021s, that uh, new Street Glide 114 looks good. Well, and um, I like it too. Uh, the Baja Orange, man. I think a lot of people aren't going to like that color, but gosh, I think it looks really cool. That's what Harley is: is orange, you know, orange and black. So, um, man, that'd be a cool bike to have. If money wasn't an object, I would go for that, uh, the CVO Road Glide. Oh my gosh, that's freaking cool. And if I could really choose the $41,000 one, what is that, the uh, the uh, Street Glide or the Ultra Limited? Man, with the touring pack on it, I would like to have a touring pack so my wife and I could do some long rides. Right 
right in here. Just like that. That's why I like having a bike seat because that guy parked over the line. <laughs> Go check that, make sure I shut it. I got that cashier's check in there. <laughs> Don't be dumb. Oh, it's just so nice to get out. Oh man. I cooped up in the house. Uh, Sylvia's been in a bad way. Take her out tonight. I mean, Thursday night is a nice time to go out because it's not so busy everywhere. There's a couple of books she has her eye on at Barnes & Noble. So we'll probably go there, get her some books, and then just go out somewhere for a little dinner. Uh, I don't know. Not to get too personal, but it's a. Uh, I've heard other people on their YouTube channels talk about depression and anxiety, and Sylvia's had it pretty bad. Not to get into too specific a diagnosis, but uh, she, they. Um, it's mental illness is kind of like uh, other physical illnesses, but I've found. You know, like lupus or um, MS or Crohn's disease, those kinds of things, you know, they flare up. They feel okay for a while, but then they have flare-ups and they're sick for a while and stuff. And it's the way she is, too. She'll be all right for a while, but then she just gets so down. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I know everybody says... Hey, don't blame yourself. You can't blame yourself. You know, to the significant other like myself. <laughs> but, uh, I kind of look at it this way. Wow, look at that old fork. Huh. Um, ever since we met, before we were even married, it's like anytime she expressed a feeling of uh, anxiety, like, like she didn't want to do something, she was scared to do something, or something made her uncomfortable, I would step in and change it so she didn't have to do it, or I would do it for her, or, you know, things like that, and I think maybe what's happened over the last 25 years, yeah, it'll be 26 in February, is I think maybe I've just completely stripped away all of her self-esteem, all of her sense of self-worth. As now she feels like she can't do anything. You know, she never went to college. Um, but she wanted to. She probably should have. Maybe we got married too young and... I don't know. I feel somehow responsible. Like some sort of... You know, it could be some kind of abuse, honestly. It should be illegal what I've done. I don't know. I don't have the answers and there's no way to prove it. And but I wish she felt better. So, so you know, it kind of in jest, I'll say to people, um, you know, you'd go crazy too if you were married to me for 25 years. <laughs> like, ah, don't say that. Hey, look at this Subaru, the Christmas tree on top. It's January 22nd. <laughs> you ever see that movie? What was it? Uh, One Crazy Summer with John Cusack. <laughs> it's summertime and this friend still has the Christmas tree on stops the car. It's, it's all brown. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they're going to drive around with that on there till summer. <laughs> oh, I entertained myself. It looks like a couple of old ladies in that car. <laughs> Maybe they need help getting it off the top of the car. So there's no way I'm driving around with a Christmas tree on top of my car. 
He's just dropping off my payment. <laughs> Account number's on there. Oh. Thank you. Hey, good, how are you? Hugs is good. Sorry. Pump your head. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Need the right gear. Well, $20 drawn. <laughs> but, who knows? Maybe she really needs it. And if you take one look at me, I ain't starving. <laughs> hey, skip a meal. Why don't you? All right. The next little story is Chandra has been wanting to get new pictures done for promotions and and stuff. She keeps harping away at it. I mean, we don't have any shows coming up, so I don't know what she's so excited about, but um, she does want to get that done, and so she's been trying to get us all to one, in one place at the same time, which is sometimes pretty difficult if we don't have a scheduled rehearsal or a show, but uh, she was asking us to meet between 2 and 2.30 at Greg's, it's almost two now, and uh, she says it'll be quick, you know, but I need to be home by four. Woo! -hoo! And uh, so I guess I'll go over there and see who shows up. If nobody does, then I'll just go on home. Yeah. Walleye. Oh, it's with a four. Wally. <laughs> Wally. Wally. <laughs> That's what I thought of. Uh, product of Disney. <laughs> Watched all those movies. Except none of them as a kid. Only with my kids. Greg says he can hear me coming down the road, so we'll give him a couple of those. See if he's outside. <laughs> so, that was fun. We went and saw some of the new Harleys at the Intermountain Harley Davidson. That was cool. Um, boy. I get all the names confused on those. <laughs> so I made corrections, but uh, man, one of these days, you'll be there. I'll record it when I get one of those new Harleys. And then we went and made a payment and we met Rochelle. And um, then we went and did some band photos. So you got to see that too. Um, lots going on. It's supposed to start snowing. So I don't know how the video is going to go for next week. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh subscribe to the channel and we'll uh give you more content and uh more stuff about motorcycles it's exciting okay i gotta pee i'm going inside bye for now uh -huh.